this is going to be fun. I've got um, 1300 grams of clay and I'm doing throwing a large bowl um, that's going to be wet about 15 16 centimeters tall and 25 centimeters in diameter 25 26. It's going to be very slow because I have to throw it very slowly um, in order to keep control of it. So I'll probably have to do some editing, otherwise everyone will get very bored watching an extremely slow process. I'm using my usual mix of clay, which is 60% um, white stoneware um, and 40% porcelain. Found a little air, air bubble there, let's get rid of that now. That's what one does all this centering process for, is to hopefully identify any problems before they become seriously inconvenient. Okay, so now I'm going to open out. Because this is a bowl with a, a, na a relatively narrow base um, and wide and wide top, I have to be very careful to not make the base too flat on, on the inside. The whole thing about bowls, that's too thick still, is that you look at the inside profile. So the inside profile has got to be really nice. I want the roundness of the curve to be consistent. So I think I've got my base how I want it. And I'm now going to start to bring up using the whole sides of my fingers here because I'm trying to displace a considerable amount of clay. Again, bringing it in so that I don't end up with a too flat a bowl. This is quite a tall shape. And whilst you haven't got the sensitivity with the side of your hand, what you've got is an even distribution of pressure. So before it gets to anything like the right dimensions, it's going to be quite a bit too tall. I'll take a bit of the water out of the middle. You can see I've, I've got a lot slower now. I feel I've got a, a air bubble here, which is not, not a desirable thing. Try and get rid of that as gently as possible. Might have to edit that out.
it's not actually too bad. So, I've kind of, well, it's sort of, sort of alright. So now we've got an awful lot of fine tuning, which is just to even out the profile on both sides without putting undue stress on it anywhere. So probably at this point I'm going to start using my favourite rib, just a little bit of trimmed bamboo. And actually what I'm doing now is um, using, putting pressure from the inside out because my irregularities are on the inside profile. Surprisingly okay. Getting a bit of the surplus slurry out. And I'm going to run around the rim once more before giving it what I think will be the last run over with the rib, which I hope will get off the last of the slurry and give a nice flow of throwing lines on the inside and a decent clean profile on the outside because these, like the jugs I was throwing yesterday, are destined to have slip stripes on, them, on the outside. Well, that's not actually perfect down the bottom, but I think that's something that I'm going to have to correct at the turning stage because I think if I try and do anything else now I'm risk to just spoil it so I'm gonna undercut it at the bottom clean the bat cut through with the wire and add it to the other pieces that I threw earlier. There. So it's got it's got a slight line there that isn't isn't marvellous, but I think that, that can be corrected later. 